Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. This time I'm back with Double Savage episode 11. I know I'm insanely late, but my timetable is insanely tight right now. Especially next week are gonna be my exams. So I'm really focused on that right now. But I vowed to myself that I'm gonna finish this series. I didn't see any spoilers thank goodness so everything that's gonna happen right now is gonna be completely new to me and i'm gonna finish this series <laughs> let me stop talking and let's see what's gonna happen i think last episode ended with bawin holding a gun at pakon of course you would be petty like that I'm sorry, Om has to leave me alone. He actually has to leave me alone. He is way too fine. And I'm sorry, did we all see the small tears in Bawin's eyes? As if he would actually feel guilty right now. Look, 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 look at his eyes here. Look at his eyes. Wait, what? What? <gasps> he killed the parents! He killed the parents! <laughs> he killed the parents! He killed the parents, ladies and gentlemen. Bawin killed the parents, people. He killed the parents. He killed Rung's parents and he goes around. <laughs> he goes around pretending that he's so much better. Covering up that big fat lie. L like I said, Rung and Bawin actually are perfect for each other. Because they both like to play with people's emotions. I've said it so many times in the past already. He actually is playing wrong. Saying he's gonna find the people responsible for that uh, took away her chance of a normal life. When he was the one that took away her parents. He didn't have the respect for her to tell her. Because apparently the love is still much more powerful so he preferred to elude her making her believe that he's gonna be capable to fix everything but that's just because he feels guilty deep down he feels guilty that he killed her parents and he didn't want to lose her by telling her the truth that he killed the parents so he was like don't worry i'm going to get a higher position and i'm gonna give you the life back you wanted that's him saying, you will be rewarded for being so patient while I'll deal with your enemies when he's actually the biggest, oh, he is the biggest liar of them all. He is the biggest liar of them all. He killed them. He killed the parents. He actually killed the parents, people. Now my question is, how did Pakon know? And he didn't even have enough respect for the parents to stay there, people. He didn't have enough respect for the parents to stay there, call an ambulance, etc. Because that actually would have confirmed that he was the one responsible. I only know the term in German, which is Fahrerflucht. I don't know the term in english but i can describe it when you are involved in an accident doesn't matter if you cause the accident or not as soon as someone gets hit and you're the one that somehow got out of it without a scratch you drive away you don't even try to call the police or paramedics to take care of the person that got injured that's what he did. He actually ran away, people. Oh my god. And he's out here having such a big mouth when he's the one that... <laughs> oh my god. No, the tea. How did Pakon know? 
and he's hitting him. I am weak. Sir, that's your fault. That! That! Yet you still did become one. Not a shitty brother like you. No, but his face though, his face though, as soon as he noticed why he became a cop in the first place. I mean, we all did know he wanted to become a cop because of his brother. But if you actually still went through the training, that was because of you. Or you just started hating yourself so much because you never actually try to do anything and you put your love for a stranger over the true and unique love you felt for your brother he preferred to channel his anger at himself for still caring that deeply about Pakon even though he took his girl in a certain sense Pakon knew that Bawin liked her etc you know you know I'm not a fan of the fact that they became enemies because of the girl you all know that already Bawin loved his brother so deeply that even though he hated him he wanted to do everything to make him proud that's what I see here Bawin still went through the training because he knew that Pakon wanted to be a cop but he couldn't be anymore because right now he's at the evil side of the law he's a criminal so he couldn't become a cop anymore and Bawin loved his brother so deeply that he was willing to still go through with the training even though he didn't want to become a cop he just wanted to fulfill the dreams of his brother the fact he still went through says a lot of things in my eyes it speaks volumes if you truly hate someone then you wouldn't continue what he wanted to do i'm just gonna give you a little you can't just hate someone like that hate always covers a bigger emotion which sadly it's love we're going with that sentence from the vampire diaries from catherine between love and hate is such a small string when you initially love them you're perhaps disappointed on how your relationship developed you're disappointed because you have the feeling that they don't love you the same way back you are hurt because of something they said and you try to change that love into hatred you try to think that you hate that person in order not to suffer too much that's also called self-defense mechanism he tried to think to himself that he hates Pakon for taking away his girl or whatever to cover up the fact that he actually truly loves him you do not continue someone else's legacy if you hate that person <laughs> See? It was it was all because of him. Because depending on what he says, he could oh my god he's actually honestly this is what uh bawin was actually waiting for at this point he wanted to vent and all the pain all the suffering was all brought back to the fact that he loves Pakon. So Pakon is actually his emotional trigger. As soon as he sees Pakon, all the negative emotions that he has ever been through after Rung showed up, let me just say it like this because she actually is the main problem here. All of those negative emotions, they just come out. His anger that Rung chose Pakon over him, the anger at himself that he still loves him no matter how much he trampled over his feelings 
and I'm saying trampling because perhaps by win things that Pacon didn't care that he had feelings for Rong and still went for her and got her. The fact that he's envious that no matter how bad things went for him, he still managed to keep footing. He still managed to continue to survive. Like he still managed to survive even though it's not the life he chose for himself. And the sadness that he didn't have his brother anymore. The pressure that his father laid on Babwin to become a good cop, to make him proud, even though he didn't want to make his father proud, he wanted to make Bakon proud. But every time he saw him, all the anger came crawling out. Like he never really had a nice conversation with Bakon. Every time he saw him, all the anger clouded his judgment and he always just went off at him. Never really gave Bakon a chance so that they could talk because that's actually all he ever wanted. He just wanted to be loved. He only wanted to be welcomed somewhere. Yes. <laughs> See? See? It's all because of that. No one cares about me. Is that... Yeah. People like, why do I even say stuff? Why do I even say stuff? I'm so good. Right now, I'm actually so proud of myself. It's actually what I said. It's all the pressure. The father is putting the pressure on him to make him proud, etc. But he doesn't even want to make his father proud. He wants to make his brother proud. He wants to have his brother back. The way he handled the situation, though, that's on him. Like, I cannot defend anything. But I can say, like I said, he is damaged. He's not evil. He is damaged. And a damaged person can be helped. It can be saved as soon as that person recognizes as soon as that person bursts, you can help that person. Because that means that they are actually allowing change to come into their lives. He cared! What do you mean, baby you? Sir! See? Sir, if... Oh my god, I cannot... People, I keep on pausing. I have been recording for over 16 minutes. And I'm only 5 minutes in. <laughs> this scene is so powerful. I cannot... The fact he finally burst. It has a long time coming. But when he didn't take your siblings away. He didn't take your mom and your sister away the fact that they kept on taking his side was because of your explosive attitude they always were like he didn't choose this life for himself he is all alone he would have been out there to fend for himself if it wouldn't have been for alan and you are out there making all this drama around him of course they would pick his side because he actually is alone the entire time you would prefer your anger to take over than have to actually see the situation for what he is. He was not happy. He was not pleased. But he had to do what he had to to survive. You never showed that you actually were happy that he was around. And you were always attacking him the second you saw him. So what exactly did you expect from him? That he would still jump into your arms? Of course he would change his attitude toward you. He never thought he'd run away. Oh. He's trying to He's trying to be him He's trying to be him And that's not good What do you mean easier? Do you actually believe that? Sorry, sorry No, I People, I am so sorry <laughs> I am so sorry, I keep on pausing. I have so much to say to this. Sir, the fact that he would be gone and you would be happier, that's the biggest lie you have ever said in this entire series. Because, first off, you know that he was alive and you're the one that pulled the trigger. Now, knowing that you love this man, it would only be eating you, like Pakon said in the beginning of that conversation. You are not happy with yourself. You're not happy with your life. 
So, since you're not happy with your life, killing him is not going to give you any peace. It's not going to give you any happiness. It's only going to be giving you another problem, as in another pain to deal with. Because you were the one to, to kill him. You wouldn't be like this. Yes, you would be. Because you're not happy with your life. You're trying to carry out other people's expectations. You're not doing what you truly want to do. You're trying to do what you think would make everyone around you happy. But that's not what you truly want to do. Yes, you would be. That's... Shoot me. Shoot me. Yes, yes, I like See, look at this man. Oh my god. He wants to... Oh my god, people, I cannot watch this scene. Like I said, the root of his anger, the root of his sadness comes back to Pakon. So this fight has been long overdue. The fact he's like, fight me, take your gun and fight me. He does not... He does not want to fight you. The fact he's crying though. He's not gonna shoot you, sir. Look at him. He sees it. He's not gonna shoot you. Oh my god. He would have shot you a long time ago. That's <laughs> he would have shot you a long time ago. He sees you as his brother. Yes, you do. Look at him. He is done. He's gonna break down, people. He's gonna break down. He needs some depression pills. Oh, Alan. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you have to leave me alone. Oh my god, girl. 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 You know that the shooting sound scares you. Girl. Oh my god. And she's gonna break down again. ไม่มาที่นี่ด้วยหรือเปล่าวินเหรอโทษครับโทษครับโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ย
Oh my god! Bowin! Why are you like this? He actually killed him! I'm alive! He actually shot him. He actually shot him. That's what you did, bitch! What do you mean? What? Oh my god. Why? Why? Why is the show like this? It's always the good ones that die. <laughs> oh my god. People, I can't. You've got to be kidding me. Now this entire montage like with Meg, you have to leave me alone. You actually have to leave me alone. เดินเพ่นผ้าไปทั่วถ้าโดนลูกก็จริงตายขึ้นมาเลยไม่มีใครรับผิดชอบนะนี่แล้วคุณจะดุไปถึงไหนใช่ไม่ใช่ลูกน
ันได้So proud of her. No, I'm done. Why? Why is it always the good ones to die? Big bad. You eat out, right? Eat out, yeah. Big bad. 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 ถ้าไอ้กอมมารู้ว่าฉันขโมยหัวใจของมันมามันจะฆ่าฉันไหม Wait I'm sorry what มันจะฆ่าถ้าไอ้กอมมารู้ว่าฉันขโมยหัวใจของมันมา He's very hard มันจะฆ่าฉันไหม Ah I don't think so ก็มันเป็นคนมีเหตุผลไม่ใช้อารมณ์ตัดสินปัญหาแบบคุณ Oh, was that supposed to show that they had sex? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just realized that. Okay, fine. Stay over. Yeah. But why? Aww, that was cute. But my work, I didn't start doing it easily. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I That's the monster you created, Rung. Girl, he's dead. Go down in flames. Oh my god. That's what you did, Rung. No need to cry here. That's what you did. Like, he did not have to die, people. He says go down in flames! He's gone, girl. He's gone. Oh, pick up the gun, girl. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is only gonna fuel her anger for Bawin. Oh my god. 
You created this monster, Bowen. <laughs> Let me stop. He did not have to die. Someone pull the trigger on Bowen. <laughs> Latterby, you have no right to say anything. <laughs> they bo and now they react? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Hold, hold, hold. I thought she was about to shoot Bowen. Is she planning on shooting herself? <laughs> now they now they react? I am weak. Oh, hell no. Well, girl, just run up to her. If she's not reacting, if she's done. That's that's what happens. That's what happens. I wouldn't want to live there anymore either. Look at Pakon. He is so not having any of it. He did not have to die, people. He actually did not have to die. Oh my god. Oh, he's living with the uncle. Huh, his father. ก่อนไม่ได้อยู่ตัวคนเดียวบนโลกนี้นะลูกก่อนยังมีม้าหมีเจ้ผมผิดแค่ที่ยิงตำรวจในวันที่เกิดเหตุเราลงอาญาครับ
It pains me. It hurts me. Now it must be pretty obvious that she loved him. <laughs> oh, I cannot. Oh, of course you knew. He actually loved her. If she wouldn't have been there. Oh, girl. Not before the very end. Stop, I can't. He knew the pain all oh, because of Pawin. Pawin pulled the trigger. It's always the good ones that die. <laughs> because you truly care. And that's what makes you terrified. She's not having you. I like her outfit and her makeup here. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sensing some hidden. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hungry for revenge. Lung. She knows. She knows. Did she hear him? She knows. Stop. Stop. Hold. 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 What is with all those? What? What is this? How is it possible that they all just know? She couldn't have known before because if she would have known she wouldn't have tried to play Bowen the first time she got here so that means that she overheard the conversation between Bowen and Pakon back in the warehouse before Alan died that's where he was like don't you feel guilty at all that you killed them etc <laughs> now that's lies <laughs> ก็อยากรู้ว่าได้มาดูแลพ่อกับแม่แทนเราบ้างหรือเปล่าโอ้โหมีบ้างนะเออลุงเรื่องคดีลุงอ่ะเราขอหรือขึ้นมาดูให
Okay. He's oh, he's on the run now. He's on the run now. Stop. Was that wrong as well? ผมจะไม่ทําให้ป๊าผิดหวังในตัวผมป๊าภูมิใจในแกมากเลยโอ้ไม่ได้ลุงลุงมาได้ไงฮะให้เราไปส่งนะไปส่งเอาไรเอา
Even though I do believe that this is more I... than... I do believe that this is more than even. Like, I think he's suffering more because Rung was uh, caught because of those uh, drugs. She was held responsible for it all. And she thought that Bakon threw her under the bus. As in, he tried to save himself and let her take the blame for everything. And that's why she had to run. Here now, he had to run and he was betrayed or thrown under the bus by the one he loved, which was Rung. So technically, it's the same. But the thing that makes Pawin's situation worse is that she actually played with his feelings while Bakon actually liked Rung back in the day. But that's not what makes it worse. What makes it worse is that she managed to escape back then and she actually called the police on his ass, making them take him away. So it's worse. Oh my god. Ooh, whew. She knew from the beginning. <laughs> oh god. The police. Finn. Oh my god, he's actually a prisoner. This actually... Uh, this hurts me. Oh my god. <laughs> He's actually a prisoner. He killed the parents. Yeah. Look at Lee. She does not care anymore. Oh, now she's crying. Oh my god. Oh god. I cannot with this entire situation. I cannot with this entire situation. <laughs> Look at Pakon! Pakon is so pure, people. He is way too pure for this world. I would be living on the inside a bit. A bit, honestly. Like, call me, call me evil. Call me evil. I would be living on the inside a bit because of everything this man emotionally put me through and the fact i'm saying i would be living a bit was because as soon as that satisfaction wears off like the satisfaction will last five seconds and then i'm gonna feel horrible because i truly love this brother <laughs> so i would be completely devastated but i still would feel a bit of satisfaction because this is karma you treat the people around you like shit and this is what you get i said it when rong got arrested back then this is karma you cannot treat someone like shit and then expect them that they treat you better. This is just karma. The same goes with the same. Oh, I cannot. Oh god. Honestly, I feel bad. Bowen. What I don't like is the fact that the father cries here his heart out because Bawin is in chains, but he would have thrown his other son to the wolves and let him rot. That's what makes it very difficult for me to like the father. It really makes me it really makes it hard for me to love the brother. Or the father for that matter. Uh-huh, come on. 
Tell me, are you happy with what you've done? Are you happy with what you've created? Are you feeling satisfaction? Are you feeling happy? Nah, you don't. Look at yourself. You're actually in tears, crying. You're not happy, are ya? Because sometimes justice won't give you peace. Because that's not what's gonna give you peace, girl! Is it that horrible? Girl, is it that difficult for you to understand? I did say that she's gonna be collateral damage. She's gonna cause her own destruction just like by Wynn. And that's exactly what happened. By Wynn literally just caused his own destruction. And this destruction is coming to Rung right now as well. In the real world, when you lose your parents, getting the one responsible behind bars or killed is not gonna give you peace. Why? Because if he dies, is it gonna resurrect your parents? No, it won't. They're still gonna be dead and you're still gonna have to learn to live with that loss, with that pain, with that sadness, with that despair inside of you. They are still dead. They're not gonna come back. So getting Bawin thrown behind bars, having Mech die, having Alan die, it's not gonna give you peace. And if Bakon should die as well, it's not gonna give you peace, okay? Because your parents are still dead. You still lost five years of your life. I don't know how, uh, how much time has passed since now, but we do know there was a five-year jump. It's not gonna give you peace because you still lost that part. You lost... Five years of your life, you lost your parents, and right now you don't know where to start with your life anymore. The charges have been dropped apparently, but she still didn't want to come back because perhaps she still was trying to deal with the fact that Ba Win killed the parents. As soon as she came back, she was pretending she didn't know that the case has been dropped and she was playing Ba Win in order to hurt him in the most possible way. But look at yourself. Are you happy now? No, you're not. Even though you know he's behind bars and got what he deserved. Are you happy? No, you're not happy. Look at yourself. You're feeling even worse. Oh, Bakon. Whip her in shape, Bakon. That. Whip her in shape. Ooh. Look at Bakon. Whip her in shape, Bakon. It was not okay what happened. Yeah. You think it's better? Yeah. Whip her ass in shape, Bakon. Are you happy? That. Your parents are still dead. You still lost part of your life. Are you happy? Oh, that's... Oh my god, whip her ass in shape, Bakon. This is where we part? Oh! I, that was just a, that was a joke, but like, same. I don't want to have anything to do with a person like you. Nana! It's over. That's what you did, that's what you created. You have been causing shit ever since you... Every... Ever since the day you came back. This is what you did and this is what you deserve. Because this is karma. You want people to stay in your life, you can't treat them like they are worth nothing. You can't treat them like they're shit because sooner or later they're gonna turn on you. And that's exactly what Pakon did. He does not feel guilty about what happened to you because that's exactly what you did. He, he does not feel guilty about what he did to her anymore. He was blaming himself, saying, yeah, it was his fault if she wouldn't have come there, etc. Now, he does not feel any guilt anymore. Why? Because ever since she came back, she has been trying to get with him, with the brother, with Alan, with Mech. Mech and Alan are dead. Lee is completely devastated because she fell in love with Alan. Bawin is in jail. The family is completely broken and because Bakon has such a pure heart, he feels the pain of the people he loved. He has to deal with Meg and Alan's loss. He lost his only safe place. His friend got thrown in jail. He got arrested for drug trafficking because of her. 
And the only one that still didn't get anything was Pakon. He's the, uh, the only thing. Or I think I get why he's like, yeah, did you play enough? She knows that Pakon is a person that loves with his entire heart and soul. He's that pure hearted. So she was trying to hurt the people around him, the people he loves. And by doing that, she would hurt and torture him psychologically, as in emotionally. Pakon thrown in jail, his father, his sister, his mother being completely devastated because of that. Like, they have no way to get money now anymore because the money was given to them by Bawin and by the job he was doing. No matter if the money was clean or not. And Pakon's friend was arrested because of drug trafficking. That was Rung doing this to spite Pakon because she got arrested for drug trafficking. And Pa Win was thrown in jail, even though it was deserved, but the fact is and remains that. And Meg and Alan have died shortly after she joined the group. So this was everything surrounding her and her revenge. Did you have fun? Has your pain eased? After you played with all of us, with all of our emotions, did it help you? This is all karma. Oh yes. Give me the finale. Come on. That's too late. Uh -huh. Not him saying we're not beggars. He is still your son. I cannot put this father. But the finale is gonna be insane. Honestly, no. But yeah, this episode was insane. Bawin actually killed the parents and he got arrested because of that. But I think I already said everything while I was watching the episode. That's normally how I do things. Because if I don't immediately say what's on my mind, I have the feeling I'm going to forget it. So there's not much I can say about this episode anymore. Because I already said everything there was to say. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments below what you think was best. And I will see you in the finale. Bye.